Well, another week goes by and another race where nothing fucking happens. Christ almighty. The most exciting thing was a drunk fan sticking his hands through the fucking fence and sprinklers going off in the track. There's your there's your best of moments right there. Um, I'm sure NASCAR Knicks can put those in a WTF moment comp. Other than that, nothing else worth noting. There was like some a attempt of strategy. I'll give the feel that, but some people were taking two tires, but people that were fascist either got up to the front pretty quickly or were stuck in fucking dirty air because this aero package is fucking garbage. So there was one instance where Kurt got the lead. It took somebody 10, 15 laps to get around him because Kentucky is a garbage track now since it's been repaved and it's almost like a one groove track so all they gotta do is move into their line and then they can't do anything and it takes really such a big you know magical uh, journey to to get around them so arrow packets garbage nothing much happened um, there was lead changes, but it was early on in the start of the race, and the only reason there was ever sort of lead changes was basically because of pit strategy. There, was, that was really it, and people taking two tires getting to the front, they eventually would lose it. But that was really it. Nothing like on track that I can really remember. I slept through all of stage one, so I don't know what the fuck happened. Actually, I didn't see any of stage one. I I took a nap and I woke up at the beginning of stage two so i don't know what happened there i know true x1 and there, i guess there was no yellow so I, i'm assuming nothing happened so that's good when i miss a third of the race and nothing happened stage two nothing um bowman uh, blew a tire hit the wall yaley i think blew a tire hit the wall um true x1 i like true x but christ that was just so boring um, just nothing happened. I feel bad for the the commentators had nothing to talk about. Um, the chase stuff. Oh, the drama where uh, everyone is pretty much good except for what thirteenth to sixteenth, I guess, are on the edge. So um, I got nothing. It's just a bunch of nothing in these fucking races anymore. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Daytona was interesting because it was such a colossal shit show. Chicagoland was actually, like, legitimately good. Bristol earlier in the season was actually good. Um, those are two races I can remember that were good. Other ones like Martinsville, Richmond were just okay. Those are, like, the only two races I can honestly think of that were, like, legitimately good this entire season. Oh my god, I'm so, I'm so, I'm, it's so depressing watching these races where nothing happens, and I'm just going through Twitter, seeing what people have to say, because it's more interesting. I'm just tired of it. Um, good news is I'm going to Pocono later this month, so I'll, I'll make a separate video about that so people know, but it's gonna happen. Um, I don't know, I got nothing. I'm sure Real Radman's gonna have more to say. I don't think it'll be much more because it was a bunch of nothing, but I, I have you more fun looking at my anime wallpaper because it's just more like visually appealing than this race. I mean, literally anything. Think of anything you can do in your life. Uh, it's more interesting. Um, there's there's a pencil on my desk that's more interesting. There's a piece of paper that's more interesting. Um, I got salt that adds flavor to food that's more interesting. Um, I got flash drive that can store information of whatever you want, so that could be as interesting as you want. Your imagination's limitless with that. Also, apparently, some people. I, I, there was one person on Twitter that mentioned like the, the in-car track bar adjuster has made uh, racing throughout the like green flag runs just worse because you can always just constantly adjust it in the car. So I guess that's also true. I don't even know why it was a thing to begin with. Um, if that's the case, then I, I don't, I believe it. If that's like another reason why this, this, this stuff's garbage. Um, I got nothing. A comment section, did, did, I'm sure, and I'm just tired of it. 
I was watching this race half half a paying attention. I I look I glance back and there's just car single file. Single fucking file. I mean, I think F1 would have more passing than this garbage. The restarts were the only thing interesting. Pit strategy um, was the only thing that was interesting because people, I mean, they were trying to do to, to, to do something to move up to the field, but this this car, this this racing, uh, it's like I, I'm repeating myself. I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel to talk about stuff. Yeah, just the sprinklers going up was more interesting because there was actual something happening, and it was like, oh, that's unusual. And and there was water on the pit lane right in front of Ryan Blaney's like uh, pit stall or or within a vicinity. So that was that was drama. That was more drama than the on track action. I'll tell you that I was fucking on my fucking feet with that little bit of information that I saw and the fan sticking. His, there was more tension. With the fan sticking his hand out of the in, in out of the fucking fence because I was thinking to myself, oh, what if somebody flipped or crashed and it took the guy's arm off? Oh my, there's actual drama. Oh, 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 oh. I'm losing my mind. Um, I got nothing. Uh, I, I what do I even give the race? I missed a third of it, but apparently it was nothing. I don't know, two out of ten. Cause the sprinklers, they they added an extra one point to this. I don't know. Have a good day, everyone. I got nothing.